This is Mateo Ferro. He was born in Silver Spring. Uh, a very talented rapper, songwriter, and actor. Which of these hats fits you better? Hmm. Musician. Why? Because I express myself through my writing. It's my words, my experience. And you just released a song. I did. Can you please tell us a little bit more about this song? This song is called Coming of Age. And it's just a accumulation of my experiences in the last three years. You know, since I was 18 to now, 21, it's, it's been a chapter of my life that I have come of age. I feel like I've gone from boy to a young man. So it's a big shift. A lot of things happen in between that. Does it come from that? You had the opportunity uh, to participate in Kennedy, at the Kennedy Center, which is an emblematic, uh, you know, now movie, In the Heights. How was that experience? A phenomenal experience. It impacted my life a lot. I would say it changed my life. That experience changed my life. Started my career, and it's opened many doors. Even if it wasn't direct, it's opened many doors. That experience taught me a lot, and I hold it really close to me. At the age of 16, very young, you had the opportunity to go to New York, Broadway. Mm -hmm. What Broadway mm -hmm. means to you? Broadway, Broadway is the biggest. Broadway's the biggest stage in the world. So there's a lot of pressure. Um, it's an honor to perform on a Broadway stage. There's levels to it. Like we were saying before, it's, it's hard. It's like any profession. If you get to the top of it, it's competition. There's levels, and you start at the bottom. But you were in Broadway, and then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. What happened next? Uh, my mother came, actually, my mother came to my last off-Broadway show. I was doing a play off-Broadway. For anybody that doesn't know off-Broadway, it's just smaller theaters in New York. So I was doing a play off-Broadway, a play that just made, just creating that whole moment was powerful. With my castmates, we were small, we were playing a family. We became a family. We were like so excited to open this show. It was gonna like take all of us to our next step in our careers. And then it got canceled because of the pandemic out of nowhere. And I was like, mommy, come see this last show. So only her came up, this little theater. She watched the show and then we partied a little bit afterwards and then we went <laughs> home. And then I packed up, all my, actually no, I didn't pack up my stuff. I packed some of my things. And I was like, I'm gonna go back home. And then a month in, we were like, <laughs> a month in, we were like, this is the pandemic. We don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, honestly, some I had intrusive thoughts telling me the world was gonna end or something. So I was like, I gotta go get all my stuff from New York. So me and my brother, Sebastian, we drove to New York in the middle of the night. We randomly thought about this. We drove to New York in hazmat suits. <laughs> <laughs> drove to New York, grabbed my stuff, and then came back to Maryland and my old roommate in New York. I'm rambling, but in my old roommate in New York, he texted me. It's like, yo, was I dreaming? Or did you come in in a hazmat suit to grab your shit from the apartment? I was like, yeah, you were dreaming. That never happened. So he had no idea, went back home, had my stuff. Pandemic affected all of us, obviously. Didn't know what to think. What was the question? Yeah, what was the next uh, step after the pandemic? I know you took a road trip yeah. around the country. That was very... Yeah inspirational for you? It was, it was impulsive. It was impulsive, it just, I didn't want to be locked up. I'm not gonna be locked up. So I was like, y'all can be scared. I'm not gonna be scared. Maybe ignorant, I don't care. So I just went in my car and I traveled the country, spent all that acting money on just traveling the country, sleeping in my car around the country, seeing what was my world, which is America. And Met a lot of strangers and connected, talked about life, and it was a very, very, very impactful experience. What would you say to young immigrants 
uh, that probably want to pursue that career. Hmm. Being on a stage, being, a, you know, singers, actors, what would you say to them? I would tell them that just like anything in life, it's not going to be easy. Nobody's going to give you, nobody's going to give you anything. You got to earn it. You have to prove it to yourself. You have to gain experience. Like anybody, a big lesson I learned meeting people who I looked up to was like, they didn't just get there. They've been working every day for a very long time, a very long time, for years. So I'm still at the beginning of mine, but I've been working very hard for like five years straight in a professional level. So it's like, and we're still grinding. We still haven't made it or whatever make it even means. So I would tell them, just like any career, you need to go and earn it. Life ain't fair. In the play, In the Heights, um, you were the young boy acting, but also rapping. Yeah. How was that? How, how did you rap? I mean, who did you? Who, did someone teach you to rap that no, comes from the heart? I don't know. How was that a scene for you? Was it hard to do it? No. Um, yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't hard. It was fun. I don't know. How did I learn to rap? Probably just listening to rap music growing up. Then you just copy what they're doing, and then eventually, mm -hmm. like, you get your own style. And I was the youngest one, so it was like, there was pressure, and then there was, like, no pressure. Because you have the excuse that you're the youngest one. So you can mess up. <laughs> <laughs> you can mess up, and they're like, oh, he's just young. It's kind of funny. People would laugh, like, oh, you're just 16, dude. You can do whatever you want. You're, just, you're 16, and all of them are adults, grown adult professionals who do this and are those people. So it was fun. In your song, your new song, mm -hmm. um, it's called Coming of Age. You talk a lot about your family being a family of immigrants. Mm -hmm. What it means to you have a Colombian blood? It means everything to me. That's where I'm from. That's where my blood's from. That's where my body is from. So it means everything. Everything's connected to Colombia. My parents came from there. I was conceived in Colombia. <laughs> my mom came here pregnant and I was born here. So I'm Colombian and gringo, pero colombiano. So it just means everything. I have to honor my parents. I have to honor their experience too. What's the future for you? What's the next song, next plan, next play? New music coming very soon. And everything else is up to the universe. I don't know what comes next, but we're going up, 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 up. Well, this is Mateo Ferro, a Montgomery County blood and resident. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, MoCo. Mm -hmm.